Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing um, probably one of the most talked about albums of 2018, I can guarantee you that. Um, Machine Head are putting out their brand new album Catharsis, which comes out on January 26th via Nuclear Blast. And this one is a doozy. It's quite admirable that they've done something so big and so grandiose in the age of what is essentially disposable kind of consumerism. So already that's a pretty big gamble. Opening the album we've got Volatile, which starts off with Oh, fuck the world! And it's kind of got that classic thrash kind of beat. And then as the record goes on, you've got the singles Beyond the Pale, uh, Kaleidoscope, which has just been released, the title track Catharsis, and, and so on, you know, there's 15 tracks here. So cut it down into three sort of almost like acts. I remember that Rob Flynn said that he wanted it to be kind of like a, like a film almost. So first of all, let's go into the different styles that are kind of presented on the record. So a lot of people seem to forget that Machine Head have been a rap metal band before. So Triple Beam is pretty kind of rappy. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite songs on the album, ironically. I didn't think it would be. Um, and then you've got the title track Catharsis, which, you know, it kind of, it shows what this record actually stands for. You know, Bastards got released recently, which is probably one of the most controversial songs Machine Head have ever written. You know, the, the lyrics are, are, you know, are tackling controversial issues. You've got California Bleeding, which is kind of like a fairly frank look at things. Triple Beam is about drug abuse. There's kind of like a running theme with the, the, the kind of lyrics in Bastards. So when he says, stand your ground, don't let the bastards grind you down. You know, that, that's the first time I think you hear it in Bastards. And then it reappears in Grind You Down, which is kind of more of a new metal kind of like chuggy sort of song. And it's got this like really, really heavy riff when they're just like, and grind you down, and grind. And it's got that weight of kind of like classic machine head. The lyrics also appear in Eulogy, which is the, the final song which closes out the album. So it kind of, you know, it keeps this sort of narrative going with the record, which I think is, is important in actually understanding what they're trying to do. You know, Machine Head are a band that clearly don't really kind of want to play by anyone else's rules. But there's loads of different elements of the band's history in Catharsis, but it's also something totally new altogether. Like the title track, Catharsis. You know, you've got this clean singing, which is kind of pushed to the front, which a lot of people were kind of a bit hesitant about. And then you've got kind of playing it safe, Machine Head, I feel, with Beyond the Pale. The razor blade smile, you know, that kind of sounds like and then it's got this from Dave, Dave McLean. And it's got, it's almost like a, like a, a glam rock motorhead sort of thing, but it sounds quintessentially Machine Head as well. And then you've got one of my favorite tracks, which is the just shy of nine minute, Heavy Lies the Crown, which is, I mean, it's probably as close to blackening era Machine Head as you're gonna get on this record. And it's genius. It's got orchestras, it's got guitar solos, it's got everything that you would kind of want from a Machine Head album, which is why I kind of struggled kind of figuring out what this sort of catharsis was. Not many bands would have the balls to do this. Behind the Mask is an entirely acoustic song and it almost goes like semi-prog and it sort of comes out of nowhere and I, I feel like throughout the album you're, you're kind of in a guessing game. You know, the first time I heard Bastards I was like, wow, this is totally different. But the more you listen to it and you understand the context of the album and how it works, it's actually really cool. There's Hope Begets Hope, which is kind of like mid-2000s Machine Head, where it's like And it's this classic sort of uh, lead, like lead melody, you know, the octaves and stuff like that, with the real kind of like thrashing. It's almost like a compendium of what Machine Head have done from day one right up to now. You know, like Triple Beam sounds a bit like King 810. You know, that, like, that, that's something I, I never thought I would hear. And Staring at the Sun, for example, has got this ah, a kind of like 
Arabian sound and it comes in with that doom do 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 You've also got some amazing solos on the record as well. Well, Hope Begets Hope has got a really short but sweet um, sort of harmony style lead, which is fantastic. And then you've also got Volatile, which has got a great little solo in it. And you know, the album opens like do you know what? Volatile is a great way to kind of describe the album because you don't know where it's going to go. The bottom line, whatever, if you're a Machine Head fan, I'm pretty sure you'll be digging this. It, de it just depends on how open-minded you are. And, you know, the, the final track, Eulogy, brings that um, don't let the bastards grind you down. It's like after you've had the big climax of everything and then you kind of go off, like the Lord of the Rings, sail off into the sun. I'm going to give the record a 4 out of 5 because there are some great, great moments in here, but you know, there, there are some elements where it just kind of, you know, it just it doesn't quite hit that five out of five mark. All the while, it's still a phenomenal album that deserves your time, and at least just just listen to it. You know, don't dismiss it from the singles that you've heard because it's that's not the record. If I was you, I'd just put the record on and enjoy the ride and just see where it takes you. If you guys like this review, please make sure you give me a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before February 20th, so if you could tell your friends, if you enjoy any of the stuff on my channel, please, please, please subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a really interesting one for me to do, to be fair. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.